What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Angie. Today's video is all about my weight loss transformation. I went from this to this and everyone's been asking me how since I posted this TikTok video recently and thank you everyone who's coming from that video because it really means a lot to me all the positive comments that people had like it made my day okay so this video is going to be four parts the first part is a summary of where i started and where i am now the next few parts are how i did it workouts diet and then motivation part of it which is very important also so stay tuned for the entire video if you want all the details but i'll put timestamps on when i talk about each thing if you're not interested in the whole thing okay so i wrote down some notes so i'm concise on what i'm talking about and not rambling on forever about random things summary of where i was and where i am now so i am 5'3 i started at 145 pounds which I don't even want to say that. It's kind of embarrassing. I was at my heaviest then and it very embarrassing. I hated telling people my weight because I was, I wouldn't say I was overweight, but like I was not eating healthy and I was not healthy at all, okay? And I started back in January 20th. So when I filmed this before video, which I'll show right here, and my attention was to do the Chloe Ting workout so her ab workouts that has been very popular lately but i was starting it back in january and my goal was to make a video like this where i did a two weeks and then show my weight loss transformation so like you can see all these videos so in these videos my intention was to really lose waste fat that area right and it didn't go as planned because i don't know if i lost anything and i did not do measurements well and i was not happy with the results because i think i like missed like two days and then i tried to continue but i was just getting discouraged so back in january i want to just say that i was not consistent at all okay probably in mid or beginning of February after like the two weeks passed by with the Chloe Ting thing I was like I really need to focus and actually work out so it's been about four and a little bit a little bit over four months now I lost over 15 pounds but total I lost like 17 18 pounds right now currently but definitely a consistent 15 pounds okay so I decided to take measurements on February 19th so my lower belly area was 33 inches belly button area which i took weird measurements okay 32 inches around and then my waist was 30 inches so i'm going to take measurements to show you where i am now i am 128 pounds right now and this is my after so before my lower belly area was 33 inches and now it is 30 inches and around my belly button area was 32 inches and now it is 28 inches and my waist was 30 inches and now it is 27 inches so i lost like three inches all around my waist belly area since i first started i also want to mention that i did measure everywhere else also and I lost like an inch around my arms, my legs, everywhere else too. So now I'm going to go into the workouts I do. So the first one is the treadmill workout. This right here where I do 10 incline at 3 speed for 30 minutes. So I got this workout from Lauren Geraldo, which is one of my favorite YouTubers, okay? She does 12, 3, 30, which I wanted to do, right? Which is 12 incline, 3 speed for 30 minutes. And I wanted to do that, but I don't have a treadmill that goes up to 12 incline. So that's why I do 10 incline, just because I don't have 12. If I did, I would go up to 12. So this is my treadmill right now. So as you can see, it goes up to 10 incline. And it also goes up to 10 speed 
and it's pretty basic. I bought this treadmill actually for a really cheap. Treadmills don't have to be extra, extra expensive. I bought this treadmill right here for $100 off of this app called OfferUp. And I was scouring everywhere to find like used treadmills because I did not want to spend like $600,000 on these treadmills out there. Works perfectly. Everything is in good condition. I do do the treadmill almost every single day. Sometimes I'll take one day off. I usually like to put on like a podcast or a TV show or a YouTube video while I'm on the treadmill to get my mind off the time of it because that's the main thing. I'm always const constantly looking at the time like, okay, 10 minutes passed. I'm almost there. Okay, 20 minutes passed. You know, I have to keep going. That was my mindset at first. When I hit 10 minutes, I was like, it's too late to give up. Like, I got this far. I have to keep going. And then once I get to 20 minutes, I'm like, I'm literally at the end already. That's when I first started. But now, it's a lot easier for me to do the 30 minutes. But at first, trust me, it's a lot harder than it looks. And I want to just say that I did get questions from people asking, what if you don't have a treadmill? And what if you don't have a treadmill that inclines? So if you don't have a treadmill that inclines, then I would suggest doing like five incline, five speed for a minute and then do three speed for like five minutes and then go back to five speed for a minute and then go back to three speed for five minutes, okay? The number one way to lose fat is actually increasing your heart rate, you know, doing cardio, which I know everyone hates. I hate it too, okay? But I've gotten used to it. I got this question also, three speed is not really running. It's more of a speed walk. There are people out there, I know, if you don't have a treadmill, you could just go outside. I mean, right now, it's starting to get really warm outside. It's really nice. Just go outside, do a speed walk. And then I also do Chloe Ting workouts. I still continue to do that. So I do her ab workouts here and there. I do not do them every single day. And I do her butt workouts sometimes, but I do not do them every single day. I try to do them at least like three times a week, both of them, at least three times a week. Over here, as you can see, I have kettlebells, which I use occasionally. I don't use them all the time. Then I have dumbbells here. I have this back roller, this ball here and then this ab roller and then some elastic resistant bands in there and then i have this mat here i'm sitting on a computer chair filming right now so don't mind that this mat here which i do other workouts here which i got this mat off of amazon they're just like puzzle pieces that you put together and now i'm going to go into my next part of losing fat okay which is your diet so a lot of people have asked this question as well like what do i eat did i change my diet like all those questions right and yes i know so i don't restrict myself to the kinds of foods i eat because if i restrict myself i'll feel so like trapped that i can't eat these certain foods and then everything will just go bad for me anyways because i'm the type of person i cannot restrict myself if i can't have it i just want it more you know what i use to help me lose weight is this app called lifesup so it's this app right here the thing that i like most about this app is that you type in your start weight your goal weight your measurements and after you're done with the whole setup process they give you the amount of calories that you could have each day and you can kind of change it because they have this setting where you could change the amount of pounds you want to lose within a given week but you can only go up to like one point something because you don't want to lose weight in an unhealthy way. And the great thing about this is the free version of the app gives you your macros. So a lot of people talk about macros, macro, macros. I had no clue what that really was or what that really meant until I got this app and it really broke it down for me. So it shows your protein you should have, the fat you should intake, and then the carbs you should intake, right? That was the main thing I was focused on because it's not just about the calorie intake, it's about your macros as well. I used to overeat all the time and I wouldn't realize like that's 
a lot of calories and a lot of fat or a lot of carbs and I didn't even pay attention to any of that stuff I would just keep eating and eating and it was just so bad and that's why I gained the weight that's diet now I don't restrict myself but I try to watch the portion the amount I eat and the macros and the calories okay and I just want to say I'm not starving myself or anything like that so don't worry I love food way too much to start myself okay next part of this video is the last and final part is motivation so the biggest the biggest the biggest probably the thing that stopped me the most from working out and being consistent is my motivation so I had little to no motivation at times to work out and especially back then when I wasn't working out at all I would get motivation like spurts here and there right a lot of people get that you see something on Instagram and you're like man I want that body I should start working out and then you work out consistently for like one week I was that person that worked out consistently for like one week and then after that I just give up and then like a month or two months will pass by and then I'll see something else and then it motivates me again and I'll work out for like two weeks or one week and then I'll just stop all together again and then that this would be my constant cycle over and over and over again because I just did not have the motivation after the, the week passed I'm just like I'm not seeing results I give up and it's only been a week and I'm still giving up okay it's all about patience and you should take your measurements and probably take a video of pictures of yourself because I really did not believe that I really lost anything until I saw the before and after pictures and videos that I had. Like here are some other like intermediate pictures of me. I just felt like I wasn't really getting anywhere, okay? And some things that really helped my motivation was Lauren Geraldo. I'll put her link down below. So I would say that my body type is similar to hers. I think we're about the same height and everything. And I think her before weight is very similar to my before weight, okay? I got motivated from that. I was like, if she can do it, if she can go from that to where she is now, then I can do it, okay? That was like the first spark in my mind of why I started working out and then why I got the treadmill because of her. And this is crazy to say, but she really changed the way I think, okay? It's really weird, but after watching her videos, I'm like, you know, you're right. I should, you know, it's only 30 minutes. I should just take that time of day, work out, put the investment, bought a treadmill, and now I'm consistently working out. And it's really thanks to her for getting me started because without her, I wouldn't have gotten started at all. And sometimes I do the 30 minutes and then right after I'll feel this like spurt of energy and just start doing other workouts on my mat over here. So sometimes just the initial start of working out will get you motivated to work out and do other things. And then when I started going to TikTok, right? You know, when you're in TikTok, you see all these beautiful people with perfect bodies. And that was another motivation for me. And I would see like little workout videos on TikTok. They're really short, you know, TikTok videos are only like 15 to 60 seconds long so i was seeing these workouts and if i got tired of doing the chloe ting workouts sometimes i'll see a random workout that i see on tiktok and just do that one that day tiktok videos really did help me get motivated because i strive to be some people on tiktok and i'm just saying it was motivation for me it may not be a motivation for everyone out there it may discourage you when you see other people but for me, it was a motivation. I don't know if I covered everything in this video. I try to my best. If you have any other questions, I'll try to answer them down below in the comments. Or I could make another video if there's a bunch of questions that you have. Thank you everyone for tuning into this video. Hope my video helps you to lose weight if you're trying to or inspires you in some type of way. I will continue to work out, so stay tuned to see results later on which i'll be posting when i reach my goal weight i still have fat right here i hope i covered everything thank you bye